Come in. Well, Jack, have we heard anything? Yes, sir. We've just received a coded transmission from Kessler, our contact in the Chrysal Circle. And? Both agents have been captured and are being held in Castle Wolfenstein. Damn. Call a meeting, Jack. Yes, sir. All right, gentlemen. Now let's go through it again by the numbers. What did we miss? Well, here's what we know. This is Castle Wolfenstein, located in the Hartz Mountains of northern Germany, property of Heinrich Himmler. Now, we've known of the existence of Castle Wolfenstein for some time, but we've only recently heard reports from our Kreisau Circle contacts in the German resistance regarding bizarre occult rituals taking place there. Now, these characters are part of Himmler's newly formed SS Paranormal Division, a small but elite group comprised of members possessing above average IQs and backgrounds with the occult and or paranormal. The one in charge is this woman, Helga von Bülow. Our Kreisau contact in one of the villages below the castle has informed us that she and other members of the division have been recently deployed to the area. The Kraut with the monocle is one Wilhelm Strasse, also known as Death's Head, a brilliant and ruthless scientist who heads up Himmler's Special Projects Division. Special Projects? <laughs> it's marvelously vague. Well, we know it encompasses all manner of advanced weapons research, including rocketry. It's also rumored to involve ultra-secret research into chemical and biological warfare. Charming. But at the moment, we don't know how it ties in with this massive archaeological dig near Castle Wolfenstein. So, advanced weapons, rocketry, chemical and biological research. Now, the occult. Still doesn't add up. Well, that's why we sent our boys in there. Jack, what are our options here? Well, we could send a backup team in behind them. Or? Or we sit tight and hope that they can find a way out. It's your call, sir. Well, looks like we play the waiting game. that one was a war.
start immediately. Ja, wohl, Herr Leutnant. Half the castle guard is missing. That's because the major just doubled the guard. Sounds like a bad case of nerves to me. Have you seen the major lately? He looks positively ill. I know. According to Otto, Ian von Mulo had some big disagreement over security. I suppose it really shook him up. She was as disagreeable as they come. I'd say. Well, I'll see you later. I've got to go polish my weapon.
Will someone please explain to me why it takes two of us to guard some tunnels? Intruder! Alarm!
Ramgard Station report. Ramgard Station, what is happening? Yes, Lieutenant Ruger here. Situation under control. Ah, and the American? Dead. Excellent. Village Guard Station out. Don't shoot, I'm Kessler. Follow me. We must get you inside the village. Oh, it's freezing out here. <laughs> it's going to be even colder than last night. I hope we get some new blankets soon. I just hope we get some hot water soon. I haven't bathed in over two weeks. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. Go down these stairs. There's a back entrance to the cafe. I regret that I cannot accompany you any further in my condition. You must hurry. Helga's team has an excavation site at the graveyard at the end of town. The entrance to the crypt is there. Good luck. Shoot! Come inside! I have something for you. Our British friends thought you might be able to use this. A silenced Sten submachine gun. It uses the same 9mm ammunition as the MP40. You must go now. If the guards find you here with me, we'll both be shot. What do you know? They actually found it.
Please don't hurt me. I know nothing. Things are everywhere. <gasps> what are they? Where did they all come from? Don't ask me. No one ever tells me anything. Oh my God! Did you hear that? Yeah, and I wish I hadn't. We have to get out of here. Follow me back to the entrance. What? The ladder? It's destroyed! They've sealed us in here! Get ready! They're coming!
not going to change.
running. Uh, a moment, please, mein Director. Is it working? Please be patient. We are operating under very difficult conditions here. Enough of your stalling. Tell me yes or no. Will it work? Frau von Pindau, how many times do I have to remind you? This is a very complex and delicate operation. It cannot be hurried. We are not uh, filling teeth here. Don't take that patronizing tone with me. Just a moment. Just a moment. What? What? Yeah, yeah. The extraction process is beginning. It is only a matter of time now. Excellent.
planning now? I'm not planning anything. I'm doing it. I'm getting that dagger. No, you can't do that. You'll break the inner seal. I'm prepared to take that risk. You're prepared? Are you completely mad? Do you realize what will be unleashed? It will make all the rest of this seem like a minor annoyance. Ha! I don't care. I've waited my whole life for an opportunity like this. I'm not turning back now for some cowering bookworm and his pointless fears. Frau von Bülow, I warn you. If you persist in this madness, I will be forced to report your conduct to the SS High Court of Inquiry. Get out of my way, Zemf! Your feeble threats won't stop me. Please, come to your senses. Stop this madness before it is too late. This is your last warning. No, you can't. At last. Mother hand eagle's nest. Mother hand eagle's nest. Come in eagle's nest. This is eagle's nest. We read you, mother hand. What is your status? Status is mission accomplished. We are inbound. Well done, mother hand. What is the condition of your passenger? All things considered, the passenger is doing fine. Repeat, the passenger is doing fine. Mother hand out. Well, gentlemen, it's been 48 hours since our man Blaskowitz returned from Castle Wolfenstein. That's given us ample time to digest his findings. Findings which are, to say the least, astonishing. That's an understatement, sir. The question I'm putting to you all now is this. What are the Nazis really up to? Well, sir, to put it bluntly, I don't think we know enough to answer that question. Really? But don't get me wrong. 
We've learned plenty about their capabilities. That alone scares the hell out of me. Here, here. But... Yes, Jack? Well, there are two things that still bother me. Exactly what is this dark night they all seem to be so interested in? Well, what did our research come up with? Nothing. A complete blank. Well, it's obviously more of their jiggery-pokery raising the ghoulies rot. What's the second thing, Jack? The second thing is Death's Head. Now here we have probably the single most dangerous figure in the entire Third Reich, and still we don't have a clue about his connection to all of this. Death's Head? Haven't our sources placed him at the secret rocket base in Katamarundi? Well, that's correct. In fact, as luck would have it, our man Blaskowitz is headed there now. He is? Yes. His orders are to infiltrate and sabotage the entire V weapons complex. With any luck, he might even get his hands on the latest experimental Cobra. The Cobra rocket plane? The very one. That's exciting news, sir. So, uh, what would you say, Jack, to my instructing our man to keep his eyes and ears open for any links to projects involving the, uh, paranormal? I would say that was an excellent idea, sir. There's a parachute caught in that tree across the lake. Really? It's probably just a misdraft from that black guard division training to the south. It happens all the time. You'll get used to it. Are they training today? Ugh, I don't know. There's a schedule here somewhere. Find out if you're that interested. I really think we should go investigate. Look, do whatever you want. I have to post this watch schedule in the next 20 minutes. Delivery for today? I believe so. Nothing else is scheduled. through 
here. Then about an hour and a half later, they left. Ah, that's head in his staff. One of his last new tours of inspection, no doubt. He certainly does get around. Pardon me for a moment, Corporal, while I handle something important. Das Attention all personnel, V2 rocket test to commence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. V2 rocket test complete. 
Telemetry operators, commence pre-launch calibration procedures. Ach, these rocket tests. Why don't they just launch the damn thing? Sending yeah. two troops to investigate a headache already. So how are you to the front? You heard anything? I wouldn't know. I'm here babysitting a bomb. Achtung! Fueling crews complete final check of safety seals. Achtung! Launch tower supervisor. Verify auto release sequencer.
Don't shoot! The level on the right. Blazkowicz touched down with the Cobra in Malta about six hours ago. Hmm. In one piece, I assume? Yes, sir. Advanced Aeronautics is en route to Malta now. Excellent. Now, I've read your report, Jack. Tell me what you make of this Operation Resurrection that Jerry's is so hot about. Well, sir, this is the second time that name has cropped up. First at the dig, and then at the rocket base. It is unquestionably the link between Death's Head and the Paranormal Group. Anything else? I'm afraid not, sir. We still need more information. And what would you suggest? We go to the source, and by that I mean we shadow Death's head himself, and we do it right in his own backyard. I take it you're referring to the secret weapons facility near Kugelstadt. Exactly. Hmm. Interesting proposition. You know, for months we've been trying to infiltrate that facility and have had no luck at all. I'm aware of that, sir. And are you also aware that Kugelstadt itself has been undergoing intense Allied bombing raids for the past 48 hours? Yes, sir. In fact, I was counting on that diversion to help tip the scales in our favor. Hmm. 
But what you probably don't know is that our Kreisau friends in the area have recently reported the existence of a high-level scientist from the weapons facility who wishes to defect and is desperately seeking asylum. I imagine he could supply us with some very useful facts. Indeed. All right, now this is what we're going to do. We send Agent Blaskowitz in to link up with the Kreisau group outside of Kugelstadt. They have means for getting him inside the weapons facility, and he can assist them as necessary in order to get this scientist out of there and back in our hands. And then? Well, and then we have him play the Bloodhound, follow the scent.
So how do I disarm this thing? I told you, just clip the red wire. Or was it the blue one? Ah, hold on while I go get the manual. Never mind, they all look great to me anyway.
at those documents. I'm almost done. Just a minute. We don't have a minute. Death's head wanted to leave an hour ago, and he's furious. All right, all right, so what? Major, why are we not yet ready to depart? My apologies, Herr Oberführer, but the weapons loadout on the new torpedoes is uh, taking more time than originally anticipated. I don't have time for this nonsense. I have important business to attend to. This boat leaves for the X-Labs within the hour, torpedoes or not. Is that understood, Major? Perfectly, Herr Oberführer. Finally fix the elevator.
I will not diverge any information to you. They're going to Norway! The coordinates are 67 degrees north by 16 degrees east! Well, Jack, Agent Blaskowitz is certainly full of surprises. There's no denying that. No, sir. Of course, I always knew he was resourceful, but I never imagined he had such um, expert interrogation skills. <clears throat> well, from BJ's interrogation of the officer, we now know the approximate location of Death's Head's so-called X-Labs in occupied Norway. What have we learned from our defecting scientist? Well, unfortunately, not as much as I'd hoped. He was pretty badly shaken when we got a hold of him, and he still hasn't completely recovered. He kept referring to a Project Uber Soldat. Super Soldier? Yes. From what I could piece together, it involves some bizarre synthesis of robotic and biological engineering. Uh, for what purpose? Apparently, to create the ultimate killing machine. Good Lord. According to the scientists, this project is Death's Head's baby. The thing most near and dear to his heart. And he's been working on it in one form or another since 1937. I suppose that explains the proto-soldier blueprint and those loping monstrosities as well. But it still doesn't explain the involvement with the occult. No, it doesn't. And there's only one place where we're likely to find that out. Yes, and that's why Agent Blaskowitz is on his way to the X-Labs in Norway as we speak. Absolutely had it with this place. Another day like today, and I'll be ready for the insane asylum. What is it this time? It's that stinking rocket plane again. Oh, God. Remember the cracked O rings on the reserve thrusters? You know, the ones we've known about since last August? The same ones the Leutnant never gave a damn about? Yeah, yeah. Well, now, I have to go out in this filthy weather and change both sets because someone in their infinite wisdom decided to go to full standby in two hours. I bet that was Death's head himself. He came storming through here a while ago, looking none too pleased. Oh, I didn't even know he was back. What the? I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Now what? Where in bloody hell is my splined torque wrench? Don't look at me. These are my tools.
This had better be important. Uh, yes, sir. The American agent has infiltrated the X-Lab facility. What? Will this fool follow me to the ends of the Earth? What are your orders here, Orbear Fuhrer? Dispatch the remaining security force immediately. And if the American gets past the security force? Then I will deal with him. Jawohl!
a blast, blast when it sees it. You are a most impressive specimen. specimen. It, it will be, be my pleasure, pleasure to dissect you piece by piece. Let, Let me introduce you to someone. someone. Do, Do not, not confuse him with the mere prototypes you have encountered. This is the pinnacle of all my research. Das Uber Soldat. The Super Soldier. It would be my pleasure to watch him destroy you. Thus we see the superiority of the machine of flesh and blood. Quite the deadly little toy, isn't it? How is Agent Blaskowitz? A little beat up, sir, but nothing too serious. They've just finished with him in debriefing. 
Well, he certainly came through for us this time. Remarkable, absolutely remarkable. Advanced weapons, biological engineering, robotics, and the occult. It all fits. Into what, exactly? I'm not sure, but it all fits. I was thinking along those same lines, sir. Jack, call a meeting. Yes, sir. Uh, what have you got there, Jack? Two Dakota dispatches just in from Ultra. The first one is a complete itinerary for Reichsfuhrer SS Heinrich Himmler, covering the next 48 hours. Now wait till you see the next one. A private communique from one Wilhelm Strasse, alias Deathhead, to the same Reichsfuhrer SS, dated yesterday. Shall I read it? Please. My dear Reichsfuhrer SS, as you are no doubt already aware, my X-Labs lie in complete ruin. Operation Uber sold that. My life's work is now a bitter memory. I realize you still have faith in the ultimate success of Operation Resurrection. I wish I could share your confidence. But I feel you have been misled by individuals whose mental competence must be called into question. I leave you now with a word of caution. The Allies have sent a most determined and capable agent to disrupt your ceremony. Do not make the mistake of underestimating him as I did. Yours faithfully, SS Oberfuhrer Wilhelm Strasse. Comments, gentlemen? Sir, may I speak freely? By all means. I have to confess, I'm having a hard time taking this seriously. I mean, are we really supposed to believe that all this has transpired so the Nazis can, well, I don't know, some of the spirit of a thousand-year-old prince? To do what? Win the war for them? Now, wait just a minute. Please, Jack, let me finish. Now, on top of that, we have what amounts to their own top scientists telling them they've all collectively blown a head gasket. What further evidence do we need? Sir, it just occurred to me that we may be looking at this the wrong way. I mean, well, if these blokes are really intent upon squandering precious time and resources on all this uh, mystic mumbo-jumbo, well then... Go on. What I mean to say is, if they're dead set upon sabotaging their own war effort, why should we try to stop them? Jack, I'm sure you have something to add. Yes, sir, I do. Gentlemen, if just two weeks ago someone had mentioned legions of undead, man-made monsters and demons from hell, would any of you have taken them seriously? Of course not, and neither would I. But think of all we've learned since then. Now you're saying we should ignore the rest of it because, why, it's, it's too incredible? I'm not saying I believe it. I'm saying we can't afford to dismiss it. Once again, it's your call, sir. It's settled then. Laskovitz returns to Castle Wolfenstein. Can you open the gate, Gitter? I have an important delivery. Sorry, this road is closed. What do you mean, closed? It can't be closed. This is the only road in the Paderborn. I know, that's why it's closed. Due to special conditions of security pertaining to the upcoming ceremony, absolutely no traffic is to be allowed in or out of the vicinity of the village of Paderborn for the next 24 hours, by order of General von Stauff. But this delivery is for General Von Stuff. It's six cases of cheese and sausages for the officer's kitchen. Get him on the phone now. I'm sure he'll make an exception. I'm sorry, we are completely blacked out. What? Due to special conditions of security pertaining to the upcoming ceremony, absolutely no radio communications will be allowed in or out of the vicinity of the village of Paderborn for the next 24 hours by order... Yeah, yeah, I know, by order of General Von Stuff. Look, I'm not going to be held responsible for this. I absolutely refuse to budge from this spot until you let me throw. Suit yourself, but you'll be staying here until tomorrow. But what am I supposed to do with all this cheese? 
I don't know, look for some crackers? <laughs>
Come, my dear. Surely it doesn't take all night to get dressed. I'll be out soon. No, no. still makes better. I sent that idiot down to the wine cellar 20 minutes ago. Apologies, my general. I will go and investigate the delay. See that you do, Kempf. There's no such wine. Just come inside and warm up for a bit.
Ah, is that you, Willy? Is someone gone? Definitely. This ceremony has everyone's nerves on edge. Not kidding. The Major almost bit my head off a while ago, and for nothing at all. Did you know Burkhalter and Von Stauf still haven't shown up? Must have gone wrong. Morde tsunami ras ite tiu sominu You are dead American
It ate you so minu more de tsunami ras. All right, Madame Blavatsky will begin the ceremony any time now. Once she begins, make sure that you do not look in the direction of the wounds. What? What will happen if we... If you look? Well, first your blood will begin to boil. And after that? Well, it doesn't matter very much after that, yeah? Stand your post here and make sure you do not lose power. Understood? Jawohl! Jawohl.
Herr Himmler, the plane is waiting to take you back to Berlin. Sir, the Führer is expecting your arrival. Come in. You wanted to see me, sir? Well, I just uh, finished reading the last of the reports. It's still hard to believe. Well, I suppose we can close the book on Operation Resurrection, wouldn't you agree? Yes, sir. Jack. I think that Agent Blaskowitz deserves a medal for what he did, but seeing how this mission never officially existed... I'm sure he understands, sir. Well, I hope at least he's enjoying some well-deserved time off. Oh, yes. He's off on a little R&R &R as we speak. Ah, excellent, excellent. Anything special? Ah! 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 Ah!